Mom, I hear you. Mom, you hear me? I hear you. I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times of you morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a little bit because last week we actually went to Disneyland which was really fun. We haven't been since May of like last year, 2022. So Lola was super little when we went and Cove was obviously younger too. We went with cousins and it was so much fun. The girls loved it. I was kind of nervous about if I would feel like it was worth it because I'm pregnant so I can't go on like the big rides and stuff. But Parker's sister and her husband and their two kids that we went with just went to Disney World like maybe last month and they spent a full week there so when we invited them to come with us they were like yeah let's do it and let's we all agreed we wanted to have like a little more of a chill day and kind of just focus on making sure the kids had a fun day which we also did last time but last time we went we were with their friends who are like Disney experts so we did lots of fun kid stuff but they also knew exactly how to like do all the fast passes and the the genie line or whatever it's called so it was actually so nice it was like one of my favorite times that I've been to Disneyland because you guys know that I like to be in charge and I like to plan things but I do not like to do that when it comes to Disneyland because there's just like so much to knowing the system I prefer to go with someone who just like takes over I don't know why I'm out of breath I literally did not even do anything like just put my hair in a ponytail and I cannot even breathe anyways it was just us this time like both of our families and it was super fun we still did lots of like fun kids stuff I went on pretty much like almost every ride that we were like all doing because again most of them were like the kid rides that I can go on being pregnant what you want to come in you want to come in here did you close the door did you close Coco out this is my belly now I am about halfway that's crazy it's going by fast but slow as I say in like every update but anyways Disney was super fun it was just a short trip flew there one day did Disney the next day and then had like one more day there there and then came home so it wasn't super long but it was a nice fun little vacation it was nice to get out of like the freezing weather and i didn't vlog anything of the trip just because we were like hanging out with family and just wanted to have fun with the girls so now we are back home and we got home a couple days ago so we just like chilled over the weekend parker's sister's husband my brother-in-law works for an airline so they were flying standby and they were like oh it's easier for us to get there if we go in the middle of the week and i always love a middle of the week trip because then you get to come home and like some Sometimes you need a vacation from your vacation. So then you have the weekend to kind of just like chill and relax. That was nice to do. Back to work today. I'm trying to think of what we have. Today is not gonna be that crazy. I have a foot massage, <laughs> so it's not that busy of a day. We had something this morning and then last May, maybe like two or three weeks ago, I went to this foot massage place with my friend Kenna and it was so good. So I was telling Lauren about it and I was like, we have to go. So then we booked appointments and that is gonna be our fun little bestie girl outing today. Yeah, definitely not a super busy day today, but I also have just like a random to-do list of random things that I need to get done. I've also been using some new skincare stuff from Paula's Choice. This is the Pro Collagen Multi-Peptide Booster. I've heard really good things about this. And then this is the Barrier Repair Advanced Moisturizer. I mean, this is only my third day using them, but so far I like them. Sometimes when I try new stuff, I break out like immediately because my skin can be a little bit sensitive, but I haven't broken out from using either of those. So it's very nice. Also at the foot massage place, they massage like your arms and your scalp and stuff too so we're not doing a fun hairstyle or anything today i've had my hair up for the last like two days so it's too far gone to like air wrap it or something and wear it down but i'm just gonna wear a comfy outfit because it's comfy vibes to go to this place but also in this video i want to share baby names that i love but won't be using so i'm gonna finish kind of getting ready a little bit and then i guess i could just talk about it now i was gonna go film out there but before i do get into that i want to say thank you to better help for sponsoring today's video i started started doing therapy last year and I feel like pretty much everyone can benefit from therapy. And my favorite thing about BetterHelp is that it is all online. So you sign up, you answer some questions, and then they will connect you with a licensed therapist that they feel is a good fit for you. But if you don't connect with them, you can easily just change for free. And for your actual sessions, you can also do a phone call or a video chat. I usually prefer to do video chat. Um, and I think you can do like just a regular text chat too. So you can do whatever you're comfortable with because I feel like sometimes face
face to face, especially in person. It's just like a little more uncomfortable and takes time to get used to. And especially with like the end of the year coming up and New Year's, New Year's resolutions, it's a great time to kind of just reevaluate your life. And a lot of people will say they want to like go to the gym, start different things like that. But I feel like it's also equally as important, if not more important, honestly, to like take care of just your mind and your mental health. And over 4 million people have used BetterHelp. So I'm going to have my link on the screen for you guys if you want to check it out. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Aspen. Then you can get 10% off of your first month of BetterHelp and get someone to hopefully help you and work through the challenges of life. So that is linked down below for you guys if you want to check Check it out but now let's go ahead and get into baby names i love but won't be using so i can't remember if i said this on the vlog but i said it i think on tiktok i have an ultrasound coming up very soon so we already know what the baby is but we haven't seen on ultrasound so i kind of just want to like confirm and make sure everything looks good before sharing what we are having so i do have girl names and boy names on my list within the next couple weeks i will share what we are having if you guys want to take like one final guess in the comments i feel like there's an overwhelming amount of people that like are leaning one way versus the other so we will see very soon i don't have anything fun planned for the vlog i'll probably just like tell you guys like i might just put in the video i have a little video that i'm gonna post on tiktok and instagram it is a vertical video i'll probably put that in here so you guys can watch it like when it's that video after i've had my ultrasound yeah i we filmed that in california like a while ago yeah i don't have anything actually fun for like the vlog but it doesn't need to be that fancy <laughs> i'm just gonna like tell you guys but it's always fun to have just like a cute little fun video to post so anyways baby names that i like but won't be using so what has been interesting this time is i do not have one name that's like nailed down 100 percent. i have a name that if the baby was like born right now we'd be like okay this is the name like we have a top contender it's i don't know it's weird because with cove i had a list of names and then once i was pregnant i was like okay i don't feel like any of these are actually the one and before i even knew that she was a girl i knew i wanted the nickname coco but i wanted like an actual different name so my mom suggested cove and at first i was like mm, that's too short that's not really like any shorter than coco which i actually obviously my kids have nicknames and we call them like a bunch of different things but i'm not really into like if you name your baby something long but you know that you're, that you're gonna call them a nickname like Eleanor and you call them Ellie or something I'm not really into that vibe but I knew that I wanted to like call my baby Coco and I also call her her real name anyways the point is I had that name super super early I just like have a feeling like I can just feel that that is her I just know that that's the right name it's like connecting for me I thought that I would definitely be a person who goes to the hospital with like a couple of names needs to see the baby like feel out the baby's vibe and then be like hey this vibe fits the baby but that is not how it was with Cove I was just like I can feel this is her this is her name and then with Lola I had the name Lola picked out for if I ever had a second daughter so I also had her name super early and even with that I was like I can feel that like this is just her name I can feel this is her but this baby I am not like sure about what I should name them I feel like this time has been a lot harder all that to say I think that we have a name it's kind of like what we've been saying but it's just a different feeling this time because I'm not having that same like this is the baby's name I'm more of like okay Okay, I think this is going to be the baby's name. I need to just kind of like wait and feel it out and see. I have two names. I have one that I'm pretty sure we're, that we're going to go with. And then I have another one that I didn't include on this list. Like just in case. Girl names are always easier than boy names. So I have six girl names and then I have four boy names. Boy names are so much harder. I can't imagine if I ever had to name like more than one boy. I don't know how people do that. But I will kind of go back and forth between. Actually, I'll just do the girl ones and then the boy ones. So first one that I liked and then it was never going to be the one, but it's just a name that I think is cute is Zoe. You guys know I love short names. A bunch of you have asked if I'm going to keep four letter name trend going. The name that I like and the second name that I like both also have four letters and most of these have four letters literally all of them except three of them but i'm not trying to like stick to a theme like that it's more of just the style of, the, of names that i like is kind of just short like that yeah most of these are kind of just like short and simple and like sweet names i also do feel like my name taste has kind of like changed a little bit i feel like when i was naming my first baby i loved more like earthy boho names and i still love the name cove i think it's like so sweet so pretty it's a little bit different but it's not like too funky and too out there and then lola is a little more of like it's kind of just like short fun it's a little more classic which i wouldn't really describe my name style as classic but i feel like it's not so much like boho anymore like a lot of the names that i had on my list for my first baby were more kind of like boho-y and i feel like these are not really that vibe i don't know what vibe they are but 
Anyways, Zoe, I think is so cute, but it's just not the one. Okay, the next name I also really love. I think it's so cute and it is Jade. I think it's so pretty. It's just kind of like soft and sweet, but I don't know. I already know two other, like I can think of two other babies that I know named Jade. That one also for a third baby, I feel like is kind of ruled out. And then another name that I like a lot is Emmy. I don't usually love names that end with like the E sound, but I think Emmy's so cute. And again, I just love like a cute short little name. So I feel like Emmy's a really cute one. The next one that I love that I'm sure is on like every baby name video that you guys have ever watched because it's so popular. And that's the reason that I wouldn't use it. I normally don't care that much about like if something is super, super popular, but I feel like with a couple names, if it's literally like, I don't even know if this is actually top 10, like I haven't looked up the list of what is the top baby names of like 2023 or whatever. But the name Isla, I think is so cute. I feel like it's just like such a pretty soft name. I love it. But again, it's just like too popular of a name that I wouldn't use it. I feel like it has to be up there on like, I'm actually gonna look that up right now because I feel like that has to be like top 10. Most popular baby names, 2023. I don't know if it would be for 2023 or just maybe like the last five years or something. Where is it? I know it's gotta be up here. I'm all the way down to 40 on the list. Oh, it's number 38. Okay, that's not as high as I thought. It's still pretty popular, I don't know. And I can't really think of any babies that I know named Isla actually. <laughs> Whereas with a lot of these other names, I feel like I know like a baby or two with that name, even if it's just like someone online or something, but I actually cannot think of anyone named Isla now that I'm thinking about it. But I do feel like that's a really popular one. Another popular one that I know I just saw on this list. Yeah, this is actually no, it's a little bit different, but this is a long one. This is one that's a little more wild, even though it's literally like number seven on top names, but I love the name Isabel. I think it's so cute. The number seven on this list is actually Isabella. So a little bit different, but I think Isabel's so cute. There's a girl on TikTok who pops up on my For You page all the time and her name's Isabel. And I just think it's like such a pretty name. But with Isabel, I don't really love the nickname Bella and that is Parker's parents' dog's name. So if I was ever gonna be considering this name, I really couldn't because the dog. And then the last one that I have for a girl is Lila. This one, I feel like I didn't really consider it for Lola very much. Obviously they're like very similar, but you guys know my bestie girl, Lauren. She has always said that she like loves that name so much. I feel like it's kind of hard when people have like dibs on names, you know, but when it's like your very best friend ever and they've literally said for like 10 plus years that they're gonna name, like they wanna name their baby that. Obviously I would never take that. If it was like a distant person that I didn't really know very much, I feel like they can't always have like dibs on names, but Lila, I would not ever use because I mean, Lola's very similar <laughs> to that. So hopefully one day she'll have a Lila and I will have a Lola, but I do love the name and I think it's so pretty. It's just like soft and sweet and so cute. Yeah, so it's one that I like, but I would never use it, even though I did use one letter over <laughs> from that with Lola. But now moving on to the boys. Like I said, boy names are so much harder. So I don't have quite as many of these because it's hard to come up with like ones that I wouldn't use and keep ones that I would want to use because the list is so short. But actually this name probably is like literally the top. Oh, it's literally the top name. And that is why I would never use it. And it is Noah. I've always thought this was cute. I actually thought before I got pregnant, I was like, Noah would be so cute for a boy or a girl. And I like this name because Parker was actually, I think that was like his the other name his parents were considering for him. So it kind of has like that little bit of a special meaning to it, but it is literally number one on the- So Coco sleeping? What happened to your hair and where's your clothes? Name number two that I feel like was my top boy name for a while, but now I love it, but it's just sometimes it's just not the one, you know? So that name is Luca. My stepdad's name is Luke. So I feel like that's just a little like too close. I also kind of just feel like Luca is not like my vibe of what I would name a baby boy. And I feel like that goes along with the next one. It's a name that I like, but it's just not my vibe. I don't know what exactly my vibe is, but I know that this is not it, but the name Kai, I think is super cute. K-A-I. I'm trying to think if I know any babies named Kai. I feel like that's kind of a popular one too. I'm gonna look on this list. Oh yeah, that's number 21. Boy names are just so much harder. How do people name more than one boy? Wow, the name Parker is 82. I feel like that surprises me. Okay, wait, I just saw Daisy on this list. I didn't have it written down, but I think Daisy is such a cute name. And my grandma goes by Grandma Daisy, even though that's not actually her real name, but I always thought Daisy was so sweet because it was kind of like an ode to my grandma, but that also just is not the one. Don't know why, but sometimes you can just tell that it's just not the right one, but I do think it's a really cute name, so we'll add that on as a bonus one. But the last one for a boy was on, I think it was like pretty high up on my list when I had Cove, like before I knew what she was, and that name is Ziggy. I think it's so fun and just like a little bit different, but it's not like too funky. So those are all of the names. If anybody wants to try and guess, the actual 
actual name. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna share it when the baby's born. <laughs> a lot of people have asked if I'm gonna share the baby's name since we're just kind of like keeping things a little bit more private. Like obviously I don't film the kids like I used to. They're still like in the background sometimes or whatever, usually blurred out. But I don't think that I will legally share the baby's name or share the baby's legal name because I just wish that I hadn't shared that of my other kids. And people, I said that on TikTok or something and people were like, or maybe Instagram, but people were like, wait, why? And I feel like it's so obvious, like just for their privacy, like I wish that people didn't know. What? We're gonna end this little segment here, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Baby names I like, but won't be using. I love watching these videos. I think they're just like so fun. But now I'm gonna get a couple things done on my list. It's exactly 10 o'clock right now and I've been waiting for 10 o'clock because that is the time that this like pelvic floor therapy place opens and I mentioned that a while ago to you guys like a couple of videos back and I asked if anybody had tried it and a bunch of you guys were like yes it's amazing so worth it and I've been going to the chiropractor for my SI joint in my back and it does help but it only helps for like maybe two days so I need to go like twice a week. It's been worth going because the pain is just like constant like it's just can't describe it. I don't know. It's just like everything is pinched up in your back, like right in this little spot right here. So it's still been worth it for me to go, even though it only lasts for like a few days, but I'm going to try this pelvic floor therapy place. So I've been waiting for 10 a.m. because they open. So I'm going to call and try and make an appointment right now. I looked up SI joint specifically on the reviews and a couple people said that they had like help with that. So I need to figure something out because it just hurts all the time and it just literally sucks. So yeah, I'm going to call. But then I, a lot of people also said it's good for pregnancy, like still to do it when you're pregnant but then things are just like growing and stretching and moving around so much so i'm gonna ask some questions about like can we fix this permanently when i'm pregnant and things are moving like that but i just need a permanent fix like literally at this point i'm like i will get surgery because i cannot live like this for the rest of forever and it's been happening since i gave birth to lola which was over two years ago so it's been a long time i'm just like being in pain but anyways that's gonna be all for now I will probably bring you guys with me when I go get my foot massage. I'm not gonna film when I'm doing that, but just to film my little outing for the day. Okay, look what I got for you, girls. <laughs> this one for you. <laughs> this one for Coco. Dalmatian, Monster Z. So this yeah. is the advent calendar with books. Okay, so I just got back from my foot massage. It was so nice. We went to Fika. It is just like such a nice place. And before that, we went to a little coffee shop for lunch. We usually go to Toasty, which is that place that I posted before with the avocado toast. And it literally closed down and we are so sad. I cannot go there, but they massage like your arms and your head and stuff at Fika too. So my hair's like kind of messed up now because I just hurried and like redid my bun. But then we ran to the grocery store. I'm pretty sure I literally spent $400 on groceries this week, which is insane. More than like double what I normally spend. Like if I spend like 150 a week, I feel like that's a lot. Let's see, how much is this? Oh my gosh, yeah. Literally everything is so expensive. I did not even get that much stuff. I ordered from Sprout. I think it was so much because I needed to get diapers and I got them from Costco. So that was like an extra 65 bucks or something. Very expensive week. I did find out a lot of like good meals for us. Finally kind of have my appetite back. I feel like for the most part. But yeah, I ordered from Sprout, Costco, and then... We went to Harmon's too because yeah, I forgot to get, to get a couple two. things. So, first thing, the number one reason that I love going to Harmon's fresh sourdough. So, you can have it with soup. No way! A little mermaid one? I got the girls this little advent calendar. That's another reason this was so expensive, but I don't do like Elf on the Shelf. We have advent calendars. So, I got a Paw Patrol one, a bluey one, and then there's like a little Paw Patrol ornament thing that I got too. And then we usually do like 12 days of Christmas. So, the 12 days leading up to Christmas, I'll plan something for us. We'll have like a little activity, decorating cookies, yeah. or we'll go on a drive and look at lights or something like that. So that's what I do instead of Elf on the Shelf. So this is now their third advent calendar, which is a overboard, but it has books in it and you can't have too many books. Wait, I also got you girls donuts. Anyways, soup. Oh, I got you a new kind because they didn't have, what do you think of turkey cheddar jalapeno? Harmon's has really good soup. They have fresh ones. Like if you ever go there for lunch, they also only have Harmon's in the top. No, these are fresh, but they have like hot ones, which is really good. So I got butternut squash soup. I got turkey cheddar jalapeno for pork. Look what else I got for you girls. Paw Patrol snack pack. I also got tomato soup. So I love to have sourdough and soup for lunch, easy lunch. I also got two things of Chex Mix because do you guys want to make Muddy Buddies? I needed cilantro because I'm going to do black bean sweet potato 
bowls over cilantro and rice and it has like a cilantro dressing so that was one thing that my other grocery store was out of so i needed to go and get cilantro i also got lettuce for parker because he wants to make blts this week so i got tomatoes i also thought it would be yummy to try basically like a grilled cheese with tomatoes and pesto thought that would be good to try with the sourdough i also got peanut butter i've been going back and forth between like a healthier peanut butter and skippy we're just finishing up our healthy peanut butter we finished it this morning with our oatmeal so we're back to skippy here's one with cheese you want one with sky you guys like your books i got cheese sticks another thing i forgot to order before parker wanted some beef stew flavoring i got the cheese from my grilled cheese I got mozzarella they have fresh mozzarella that they make parker wanted butter real butter not vegan butter and then bacon and i just got him this microwave one because like, that's what he asked for every time so that's our little grocery haul